a very good evening to one and all. Thank you all for coming here and being a part of this journey. We welcome you to the Innovation Zone, where we embark on a journey to explore the pressing issue of our time, climate change, COP28. Television for Environment, we were formed in 1984 by the United Nations Environmental Programme and ITV, which is one of the largest television networks in the UK. So along with uh, making these films, we were also document, our films are also documentations of things that happened. So this organization started, for example, 40 years ago, and Bhopal tragedy was happening, unfolding at that time. And so we also in our archives have a film about that. Even when we get into things like policy, which start sounding quite abstract and unhuman and, you know, are we just being sort of machine-like and computer-like and coming up with these very sensible, straightforward policies? What we do, our films sometimes go on to change policy in the country. It has happened, I think, with our, one of our Indian films where we were trying to save the whale. So what we will also be doing is we will be having a lot of uh, two-way interactive sessions with filmmakers, with policymakers, with sustainability experts through our stream, uh, streaming platform. And the last aspect is we will also be showcasing the films which, which are made by children that we are part of our projects. We use these films in schools, universities, teaching children. Also, we teach children in schools how to make films. In Vital Center for Sustainability, we have uh, two initiatives, or you can say two verticals that we are focusing on. One is we are focusing towards the school and the college students and where we are associating with TVE for bio movies. Yeah, it will be giving the platform for uh, everybody from different parts of the world to watch these fantastic content. Um, so I've, I've been involved with TVE for a few years now, um, largely as a judge for the Global Sustainability Film Awards, which is always a fantastic campaign which filmmakers of all ages and all countries can, can contribute to. That's not how it works at all. It's, it's human beings involved at every step of the way. And, and whether it be saving whales or reducing carbon emissions or saving you know, our environment and nature and biodiversity, Stories is really what sticks in people's minds that they take into forward with them into other conversations that then influence policy outcomes. That's why we see, um, you know, large corporates spending so much money and time trying to get in front of politicians to tell their stories. Just a final few thoughts. Thank you very much for everybody for joining us this evening. Uh, we tell Rebel, Serena, and every all the all the other guests, Andrew, of course. Um, two little damn scripts which I wanted to point in, um, you know, it took almost 26, more than 26 cops for the nations to decide on phasing out coal. I hope it will take much faster for us to f look at phasing out fossil fuels. That's one. Second, the next COP summit, why we still have not got an idea where it is, because the next is going to be in Eastern Europe, and we know what's happening there. So. We as a species, like you said, you know, us versus them, all of this. I don't know if it's possible, I hope so, that we can, you know, come to a conclusion very quickly. But yeah, those are the